Numerical problems. Equation. If two balls of mass M1 and M2 collide with each other, the velocity before the collision is U1 and U2, while the velocity after the collision is V1 and V2, respectively, then the sum of momentum before the collision will be M1 U1 plus M2 U2, while the sum of momentum after the collision is M1 V1 plus M2 V2. According to the principle of conservation of momentum, the sum of momentum before reactions equal to the sum of momentum after reaction. Therefore, M1 U1 plus M2 U2 is equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2. We can use this equation to solve almost all the problems involving collisions or explosion in SPM physics. How to solve the numerical problems? In SPM, almost all the numerical problems related to collisions and explosion can be solved by the principle of conservation of momentum. Let's look at this example. The diagram shows two objects P and Q of mass 1 kg and 2 kg which are about to collide. Given that object P moves at 1 meter per second after the collision, find the velocity of Q after the collision. We know that a question related to collision can be solved by the equations of principle of conservation of momentum, M1U1 plus M2U2 equals to M1V1 plus M2V2. When solving numerical problems, the first thing that we need to do is to list down all the information that we have. Listing down all given information is an important step. Don't ever try to skip this. The mass M1 is 1 kg, M2 is 2 kg. The initial velocity U1 is 4 meter per second and U2 is 1 meter per second. Oops, wait a minute. This 1 meter per second is not correct. Well, we must be very careful when writing the value of the velocity. Velocity is a vector quantity. Velocity is negative if the object moves in opposite directions. In this case, Q moves in the opposite direction. Therefore, U2 is negative 1 meter per second but not 1 meter per second. After the collision, the velocity V1 becomes 1 meter per second and we are asked to find the velocity of Q. Plug in all these numbers into the equation. Clean up the equations, we get 4 minus 2 equal to 1 plus 2 V2. Therefore, V2 is equal to 0 0.5 meter per second. The velocities of Q is positive. This positive values of Q shows that it moved to the right after the collision.